Hey guys, it's Duke and Dude here. Or uh, how about if I just shorten that name to Vic HD instead? Probably making that little transition there. Uh, hope you guys have been doing fine. Um, I've been uh, on and off again regarding uh, regarding the YouTube channel, uh, making some updates here and there. I, I did upload a recent video. I'm still continuing the Mortal Kombat stuff. As for the Four Swords stuff, still in the back burner. I just need to find the right time, the right uh, the right time and the right motivation to continue the series because I've also been kind of full with other things in and out of my uh, my job as a teacher but uh, regardless it's been um, it's been kind of hectic overall especially considering because of the whole YouTube AdSense thing so yeah I had to somehow like resolve that as soon as possible but thankfully I'm monetizing the channel again so yeah that's been also a bit of a problem um, but overall, I am still making the best of a bad situation. Uh, keep in mind, I am from Venezuela. Um, and, uh, you know, with the, the hyperinflation here getting so out of control, um, at this point, the, the country said, screw it, <laughs> we're going to be, like, circulate, circulating in dollars, uh, the, the, the currency. And uh, they're, they're going to do, well, like, a, um, they're going to be slicing six zeros off. It's... You know, the whole hyperinflation thing, the economic crisis. Uh, not, not to get too sidetracked over, the, all, over all this, but uh, yeah. Uh, a lot of things have been kind of um, been kind of hectic overall, especially with the pandemic, and I hope everyone's been doing well. I've been wearing masks most of the time, every time when I uh, step outside of the house. But uh, yeah, it's recommended to you to uh, get vaccinated and uh, put on your mask at all times. You never know who might be, um, you know, who might be sick. You know, I can't get into too much detail because, you know, YouTube can get very sensitive over talking about the, um, <clears throat> you know, what. But anyway, put that out of the way. As you can see, I'm trying out this little new format now. Um, this time I'm using this little virtual green screen concept that uh, I actually kind of figured out. I thought my computer wasn't able to do this, but there was some workarounds to it so I'm just hoping the video quality is pretty good and let's see what happens as for the Nintendo Direct I think it's been like what a couple of months maybe three months or so and I, I think since like E3 right um, what to expect from this Direct <laughs> I've been reading something along the lines of another Kirby game that was supposedly leaked beforehand it's really hard to say like what um, what that game was going to be about um, I don't really know much about other things that might happen eventually uh, during this direct of course two major things that they have to discuss one would be um, Zelda obviously I mean come on <laughs> I got this shirt for some reason it, it was kind of like a special thing that, uh, that that I got from a friend that was actually doing these types of shirts um, anyway um, another thing, of course, Metroid Dread. We're still wondering what um, what else are they going to show. Maybe some people are kind of complaining that they're over-spoiling the game itself and the plot. I don't know. Make of it what you will. The important thing is that we got Metroid back. Now, if they can only get F-Zero back. If they can only bring back Star Fox without any stupid gimmicks. Or maybe do something with the N64, um, with the N64 games. I mean, come on, y you have to bring back that audience too. Just a lot of things that Nintendo has kept in that vault for some apparent reason. I I've always made that complaint that they focus too much on Pokemon, Mario, Zelda, and Metroid, and right now with Animal Crossing, that they just ignore their older IPs. But anyway, let's see what uh, we have in store here. So let's begin. Hopefully I can... Uh... Okay, let's go. Just in case. <coughs> let's go. And we got... This is Zelda, isn't it? Or Monster Hunter. Capcom presents. 
Hope you guys can hear me fine. <laughs> Let's see. Sweet. I'm slowly trying to get into Monster Hunter. I mean, it's it's cool and all. But what else? Would, what else do they have in store? Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. Okay, so what DLC for that? The last DLC I checked had to do with like Rush being included, Rush from Mega Man, the 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 robotic dog. But who knows what other expansions um, are to are to be expected in the in future games? Hello, everyone. Konnichiwa. I'm Yoshiaki Koizumi, and I'll be your guide for today's Nintendo Direct. Here we go. What you just saw was the first trailer for Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak, the massive expansion for Monster Hunter Rise. I'll increase the audio here, just in case. Our friends at Capcom are working on many new elements that will enhance the experience for players of Monster Hunter Rise, including new stories, locales, monsters, and, although not touched on in the trailer, new hunting actions and quest rank. Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak is scheduled to release as paid DLC uh, in summer 2022. Just in case. Please stay tuned for more information in the future. All right, let's see our first batch of Nintendo Switch headlines. Party during the day or at night. So, Mario Party? It's almost time to party in the Mario, Mario Party, Party Superstars, Superstars game. Along with Spaceland and Peach's birthday cake, several other boards make their return. Take a stroll around Woody Woods, but watch out for those Monty Moles. So didn't they already re release They'll a previous um, when Mario Party game? It. Travel between two islands and Yoshi's like, what, uh, Tropical the Island. 100, top Toadette's 100 games? Star, but or was it the 3DS version? Places with Bowser at the last second. But I know there was a Mario Party game Party, that was released day before and this night one. in Horror Land. That King Boo statue is harmless during the day, but at night, it'll swipe stars from unsuspecting players. Need a break from boards? Head to Mount Minigames and play in minigame-only courses. Compete against players worldwide for the longest win streak in survival, or work together in the cooperative multiplayer tag match. So Mount who wants to destroy friendships? Seven courses available. All boards and minigames support online play. So invite family, Friends and Online friends. play is a good idea on paper, but then it gets extremely laggy Mario when there's Party that one Superstars. person that has a really Launches bad connection. On the Nintendo Switch system, October 29th. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. Maybe a little bit. What else we got? RPG is in the cards. What's this? Welcome to Voice of Cards. Voice of Cards. Well, this isn't magic. Hmm. At the Queen's behest, you'll set off on a Face fantastical of cards, journey to slay a fearsome dragon for honor and fortune. Everything in this realm is represented as cards, from the protagonists to shops towns, and environments. In this fresh take on tabletop RPGs, hmm. you'll square off in turn-based card battles where your skills and a little bit of luck will determine the victory. Really hard to make out these type of card games. I'm usually familiar with like Magic and uh, and some of the Yu-Gi-Oh games, but I... A spellbinding experience from the creative but I think mind Magic is a lot better. Taro. Saito Yoko is about to unfold. What does that name sound familiar? Voice of Cards, The Isle Dragon Roars, launches on Nintendo Switch October 28th. Pre orders Square and Enix. a free demo will be available today on Nintendo eShop. Alright. Let's see what else we got. Become a hero or an absolute disaster of a human being. Indie title. You awaken in a hotel room in the city of Revishal, devoid of your memories. Soon, you learn that you're a detective and get entangled in a strange murder case in the groundbreaking role-playing adventure hmm. Disco Elysium, The Final Cut. 
As you interrogate people and uncover clues, internal dialogues will begin. To investigate, you'll need the help of the 24 skills living within you. Your behaviors okay, and so available sort of choices like will change depending on how you develop world. these skills, directly impacting how the story progresses. Hmm. What sort of detective will you become? Disco Elysium, the final cut, launches digitally on Nintendo Switch October 12th. The physical Disco version Elysium. of the game okay. will launch early 2022. Pre-orders for the digital version begin today on Nintendo eShop. Of course. What's next? Uncover more stories oh, ho, ho. in Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. Here we go. I still haven't finished Age of Calamity. Is this going to be the same expansion pass that showed Zelda in a motorcycle? Speaking of which... <laughs> and about that courageous friend of yours, it seems I owe him as well. Yeah. The King of Hyrule must not fall! You know, you're pretty good for a little kid. We well, better partner up on this, don't you think? They won't harm me. Why do I feel like Zelda has gotten so Naruto as of late? What's with all these jutsus? Hmm, doesn't really show much of what we expected, but then again. Guardian of Remembrance. Okay, interesting. Let's see what else is what else is in the store here. Ready, set, chocobo. A chocobo Start race. Start your engines and get set for a new racing experience. The Mario Kart clone with Final chocobos. Fantasy okay. Characters like chocobo and Gilgamesh to be the first across the finish line. Yeah, Final Fantasy racer. Edge out the competition by using drift boost to cut corners. Magical stones called magicites are contained inside items. Collect these throughout courses to cast magic like Anyone fire. Anyone else get tired of seeing so many card clones? Or is it just Acquire me? Magicites of the same element to I mean, if it isn't powerful spells. if it isn't Mario, it's Crash Bandicoot. If it isn't that, then it's Sega. I mean, granted, there may be Tracer some good and bad games overall. But... Use it at the right time to turn the tables. I mean, I think it, it gets worse when card clones start depending on, let's say, like licensed movies, like Shrek, for example. As well as local and online That's another multiplayer. issue. I mean, um, Up to 64 players when it comes to these type of games, I, I like to take a wait and see approach to see champion. if it's worth it or not. Chocobo GP races exclusively onto Nintendo Switch. I mean, it looks cute, year. but you get kind of tired of so many card clones. What did you think? Before we show you our next video, we have some news about the last fighter for the Whoa! Super Smash Brothers Ultimate game. Uh-oh. Mr. Sakurai, the game's director, will reveal this fighter in the final Mr. Sakurai Presents video on October 5th. October 5th. He'll also 10 show you how Eastern. to use this fighter, so please look forward to it. Oh man. It's been about three years since the game was released. This will be the last presentation about Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. I hope you'll check it out. I hope I have the time to Please see it. take a look at this. Okay. Game footage not final. I was gonna say no more heroes, but I don't think uh, that's the case. This one is more colorful in comparison. A lot more colorful. But what could it be? Ah, there's that Kirby game. Kirby. 
Kirby and Link's Awakening. And the Forgotten Land. <laughs> Kirby is literally the last being on Earth. Human civilization is gone. Does this mean that it's a 3D Kirby, or is this like a, a 2.5D Kirby? It, it's like they're taking the whole like Mario 3, 3D World approach to this one. It's a 3D Kirby game. I've never thought I'd see this. Kirby was usually like either 2, 2D or 2.5D. This is Kirby's answer to Mario Odyssey. <laughs> yeah, Kirby's answer to Mario Galaxy and Mario not Mario Galaxy, Mario Odyssey and and uh, Mario 3D World. Okay, that looks like fun. That was the trailer for Kirby and the Forgotten Land. In See what this else we new got. Game, you can freely move around in 3D areas using familiar Kirby moves. Nice. The setting also appears to be mysterious, filled with abandoned structures from a past civilization. What lies in store for Kirby? The game is scheduled to release in spring 2022. Fascinating. We hope you'll look forward to Kirby's new adventure. Kirby's first 3D adventure. Kirby 64 does not count. Please take a look. Animal Crossing. Of course, I don't know much about Animal Crossing. I haven't played the the current one on the Switch. I, I played a little bit of the Wii and the GameCube versions, but I love this song. This song is beautiful. Crossing Direct. Okay. Since its launch in 2020, the Animal Crossing New Horizons game has been enjoyed by many players around the world. New free content will arrive in November. Cool. In preparation for its release, we will be airing an Animal Crossing New Horizons Direct in October. In it, we'll go over the content in more detail. I love that tune, it's so peaceful. Please be on the lookout for the air date of this presentation. Sorry if there's a lot of background noise. Let's move on to more Nintendo Switch headlines. <clears throat> Two games, one game update, and lots, lots of, of fun. fun. Four! More free content is I coming should have to the too. Mario Golf Super Rush game. I had to, sorry. Koopa Troopa enters the fairway as a playable character. Dish out tricky shots and dashes to mess with the competition. Ninji will also be playable. Hmm, interesting. Take advantage of Ninji's blinding speed to outpace opponents. I haven't played much of the Mario Golf games. I, I was usually more into Mario Tennis. Two courses are also being added. But they're neat. I'll we'll give it that. These additions will come swinging in as a free software update later today. Okay. What's this? An invitation. What? You're invited to live in a magical world with Mickey Mouse and dozens of Disney characters. Huh. Spend time with Disney friends. Craft your own whimsical costumes and furniture. And explore Disney has invited Disney me. themed worlds. All downloadable content from the original Nintendo 3DS version is included. Disney Magical World 2 Enchanted Edition soars onto Nintendo Switch this holiday. All right. A beloved Star Wars game is coming to Nintendo Switch. Blast off to Knights of the Old Republic. Join wow. With Jedi, droids, and outcasts in this blend of action, role playing, and adventure. Nice. Will you use the Force for good, or will you be lured to the dark side? 
Your choices determine the galaxy's fate in Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, launching on Nintendo Switch November 11th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Wow, well, at least they're doing There's something with Star you Wars. Always remember, stay human. This is the city, humanity's last stronghold against a virus that turns people into the undead. In the cloud version of Dying Light 2 Stay Human, you'll need to master both parkour and tactical combat to survive in this brutal open world action RPG. Explore hmm. alone or with up to three other players in online co-op as you unravel the dark secrets of those in power during the day. Then plunder the layers of the infected at night. Your decisions will shape the story, but they'll also have consequences. No matter where your actions lead you, there's one thing you must always remember. Stay human. While you're at it, take the prequel on the go in Dying Light Platinum Edition. Scavenge for supplies, craft weapons, and face hordes of the infected in a post-apocalyptic open world. Dying okay. Light 2 Stay Human Cloud Version launches on Nintendo Switch Cloud version. 2022. A free uh, demo will also launch know. the same day on Nintendo eShop. Dying Light Platinum Edition comes to Nintendo Switch October 19th. I don't know, just the fact that they call it a cloud version is kind of iffy. Utility, morality, or liberty. In Triangle Strategy, a fiery chronicle of war presented Triangle Strategy just looks like another version of what, uh, what was that other Your RPG game? Lead you through a riveting story that changes I completely forgot, it's just Octopath Traveler, I think that was. In the end, it, it does have that, that visual art style, like a 2D sprites in a 3D one place world, I cannot so follow. In response to the survey about the demo released in February of this year, the game has been fine-tuned with a focus on elements that received lots of feedback. These include adjustments to the difficulty, improvements to on-screen visuals, camera angle controls, the ability to review previous dialogue, hmm. and streamlined game flow and loading times. Okay. More details are now available on Nintendo.com. Splendid! Triangle Strategy will launch on Nintendo Switch March 4th, 2022. You know, it's hard to be an RPG fan today when on RPG Wii elements are almost in every video game now. Oh, Metroid! If anything, it just feels like it's like a... This does feel like sort of like a recreation of like Metroid um, Fusion. It has that like atmosphere sort of. I've only played a little bit of it, but I never really finished it. Uh, I think the only Metroid game I finished was Prime 2. I still haven't finished the first one nor the third one. I ain't really got to get back on those. There may be a very small opportunity to escape. Don't let your guard down. Hope it's worth it. Samus Aran, the most powerful bounty hunter in the galaxy, embarks on a new mission to the uncharted planet ZDR. Her objectives? Confirm whether the deadly X parasite still exists, and figure out why the Emmy research robots in search of it have mysteriously gone dark. Okay. Early readings reveal that planet ZDR is divided into multiple environments, each with its own elements and organisms. Remnants of the Parts of it kind of feel like Prime 2, but turned well, like one of the Prime games, but turned into 2D. Once called the planet their home. 
Visit metroid.nintendo.com to read Metroid Dread Report Volume 8 for a detailed account of the terrain and life forms you may encounter in the Metroid Dread game. Be sure to view the other Metroid Dread Reports there as well. You'll want to prepare yourself for the dangers So are these like texts or uh, like little websites? Metroid Dread launches on Nintendo Switch October 8th. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. Nice. How was that? Up next, we have news about Nintendo Switch Online. Many people we got? have been using Nintendo Switch Online since it launched in September 2018. In addition to the current membership, we'll be adding a new membership plan. Okay. As a part of this new plan's content, they are including N64 emulation. You'll be able to play a collection of Nintendo 64 games. It's about time! The Nintendo 64 system launched 25 years ago. Wait, Ryback? The system gave oh, sorry, Winback, Winback, sorry. Win back, win back, that's what it was. As well as intense Send in Punishment, Mario Kart 64, action. Star Fox 64. With Nintendo Switch, up to four people can play Mario select tennis, Nintendo okay. 64 games locally or online. Huh. Also, with this new membership plan, in addition to the Nintendo 64 games... Everyone's been going crazy over the, uh... Okay, Sega games, I'm not surprised. You can play a collection of games from Sega's Genesis system. But with the N64, yeah, um... <laughs> there this were reports, classic games like, days prior regarding, like, the N64 controller. The new I don't know if they're gonna bring it up, though. As well as the ability to play the included Nintendo 64 and Genesis games. Okay. This is Nintendo Switch Online Plus Expansion Pack. Nice. This new membership plan will be added in late October. Of course, you'll still be late able to October. continue okay. using the existing plans. Also, those who have an existing membership plan can change over to the new plan. Okay. We'll share more details about this new membership plan at a later time, including the exact release date and pricing information. For now, however, we'd like to announce the games that will be available when it launches. Okay, mostly first-party titles. Winback, there, Sin and Punishment. That's the one that's on the right. Castlevania well Contra, Echo, games. Golden Axe, Bright Star, Sonic we'll 2, also Strider, adding nice. more Nintendo 64 games such as The Legend of Zelda, Majora's Mask, and F Zero X, as well as other Nintendo 64. Bring back F Zero, damn it! Going forward. Furthermore, we prepared Nintendo 64 and Genesis controllers to ensure the games can be played with the same style controls from their original releases. There was a reason that patent got leaked. Both can be used wirelessly. <laughs> These controllers will be available for purchase by any Nintendo Switch Online member. Nice. Well, we got F-Zero somehow. We hope but we need... To this new membership plan. I guess they're just testing the Nintendo waters with F-Zero X right now. Plus expansion pack. Because they can't depend on F-Zero from, from the Super Nintendo, Nintendo for headlines. the rest of their lives. F-Zero X is a bit of a cult classic, despite its uh, plenty to play in graphics being very inferior. Shadowrun Trilogy. Cyberpunk meets fantasy in this three-game collection of cult classic RPGs. As a Shadowrunner mercenary, you'll explore a dystopian future where magic has reawakened and fantasy creatures have come back to life. Immersive branching narratives, skill-based character growth. It was and obvious that at some point they were going to depend on N64 emulation. Launching on it just Switch took them a while. Year. Don't know why. It took them a while. The perpetual struggle against Count Dracula continues. Ooh, 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 ooh. Castlevania Advanced, Castlevania Advanced Collection. Together four classic Castlevania These games are hard as hell. Beautiful graphics and hauntingly epic music. The rewind, quick save, and button mapping features will also vamp up or ramp up your fight against evil. Bank emulation for that. Each game, as well as a gallery mode with never before seen artwork, are included. Cool. Castlevania Advance Collection launches on Nintendo Switch later today. You notice how like games are being released with save states now? <laughs> because they were too hard back then. Act 
Actraiser? Actraiser got a remake! The classic Super NES game Actraiser returns on Nintendo Switch, now remastered in HD. As the Lord of Light and Almighty God, only you can save me. First Ghouls and Ghosts, and now this? The Lord of Dark. You'll wage war in two phases. First, strike down monsters nice. in the side scrolling action phase. No, it's the it's technically the same game, game, but just um, remastered, remastered in, uh, vanquish all who stand with, with better in graphics. Then, cultivate the lands you've liberated. In yeah, the, the game is like part phase. God mode it's up and part platformer, so will be destroyed to make the game is actually kind of fun in hindsight. So. Flourishing civilization. As you do so, your powers will increase, giving you Act Razor 2, I think, was more platform heavy in comparison. The but the first one is uh, kind of a cult of classic. Soundtrack and enjoy brand new music. So I'm familiar with it because I played this years ago. Pretty challenging win. overall. Act Razor Renaissance descends onto Nintendo Renaissance. Switch later today. Good choice. A new chapter is about to unfold. Undertale. Oh, Delta Room. Okay, I guess it's the continuation. Huh. Chapter two. Either this is a continuation of Undertale, or it's a game that probably uses the same visual elements because the art style is very reminiscent of Undertale, and I've only played a bit of Undertale. Chapters 1 and 2, okay. What else we got? Uh, might have to talk over this in case if uh, there's a lot of copyright claims, or maybe I had to lower the volume because the last time that happened, I had to mute most of the uh, most of the stream, or well, not the stream, the recording overall. Shin Megami Tensei Five, okay. THQ Nordic apparently making a racing game here, kind of like an off-road type of thing. Okay. Uh, Namco, Hamster, basically just the arcade classics of the Namco era, 80s era, Rune Factory 5, yeah I might as well just, you know, lower the volume here just in case, just to be on the safe side because, you know, anyway. Everything. There are still a few more announcements in today's Nintendo Direct. Yeah, we Koichi got... San. Oh, Miyamoto-san. What brings Miyamoto -san. you in? I wanted to make an announcement, so I was hoping I could step in. <laughs> oh, of course. Hi, everyone. I'm Shigeru Miyamoto. We previously announced that I have been working with the Hollywood movie studio Illumination and its CEO and producer Chris Melodandri-san, who are known for movies like Despicable Me and Sing in making a full-length mm. animated Mario movie for the big screen. Today, I wanted to announce its theatrical release timing. Ta-da! Next year, huh? The movie will be released in theaters in holiday 2022. It's the so release tightly date for under North wraps. America is on December 21st and will be announcing release dates for Japan, Europe, and other regions at a later time. It'll be a while longer until we can share a glimpse of Mario in action on the big screen. But is Charles Martinet today, voicing Mario? I also wanted to reveal our key cast members who will be voicing Mario and his friends in the movie. Chris Pratt? Is Mario, who will be played by Chris Pratt. Uh... He's so cool. Mario will be talking a lot in the movie. Please look forward to Mario as performed by a very talented Chris Sun. Next, Princess Peach will be played by Anya Taylor Joy. I can't wait make to see Make her cute, but don't make her too squeaky, Peach. all right? Let's go. Mario's little Woo brother Luigi will be played by Charlie Day. Charlie Day? I'm excited Not for really you to see this familiar timid with this sibling actor, appear on screen. Who knows? Bowser will be played by the one and only Jack Black. I'm expecting a monster performance by Jack Black. <laughs> that is brilliant. The comedian Keegan Michael Key will be playing Toad. Uh, I'm I don't know. To great comedic moments. Okay, he's funny, but 
kind of cringy with his comedic with his comedic punch. Will also be making an appearance. He will be played by Seth Rogen. <sighs> really, the stoner I'm comedy guy? To see a humorous Donkey Kong by Seth son. You're gonna have him smoke pot. And of course, Charles Martinet, who has voiced Mario and many more Nintendo characters in our games over the years, is also involved, and will be appearing in surprise cameos in the movie. So he is in the movie, but he's not playing Mario. We Interesting. We also have more incredible talent joining the film to play some of our other beloved characters. That is all I can share with you today about the Mario movie. This is a very collaborative project between Illumination and Nintendo. We've all been coming up with all sorts of ideas, and I myself am enjoying a creative process that is a little bit different from making games. <coughs> it may be a while until we can share more updates, but I hope you'll look forward to it. Koizubi-san, back to you. Well, at least we know um, it's going to be better than the original Mario Please Brothers look movie. look forward to Mario's adventure jumping into the world of motion pictures. Next, we'd like to show you this. Yeah, I popped huge for Jack Black, because who doesn't love Jack Black? Uh, Splatoon. Probably Splatoon 3 at this point. Since they're already working on Splatoon 3, have they already, like, finished, um... Finished with the online play of Splatoon 2, or is that still going? I know Splatoon 1 is still going on the Wii U. Not sure until when. Splatoon, I recommend it. It's it's just it's a lot of fun, mainly for these little team battles of like who can paint the arena uh, with their ink the fastest. What the? Whoa. That's one creepy calamari. You gotta admire the visual art style. There's a certain charm to it. Platoon 3. They're gonna go where no squid has gone before. Okay. Return of the Mammalians. Not familiar with the second game since I haven't played it. Whoa! Yeah, hello everyone. I'm a researcher from the Squid Research Lab. I've been meticulously studying the mysterious squids. He's going to get slimed. Form into humanoid he's form. wearing what white. Just saw was the <laughs> wearing a white coat. Just feels like he's going to get slimed somewhere. Allow me to share a bit of what we know so far. Splatoon 3 takes place in Splatsville. It's known as the city of chaos. Centered around Splatsville are the Splatlands, a place long inhabited by advanced sea creatures such as squids and octopuses. Buildings spanning several generations are crammed into the city, creating its distinctive culture. In the Splatlands, turf war appears I'm just waiting for Nickelodeon to slime all. Its basic rules are unchanged. Two four-player teams compete against each other to ink the most area. However, the trend seems to have undergone a major shift, with the existence of new main and special weapons confirmed in the footage. In the latter portion of the footage, we were able to observe activities from Story Mode, the single-player campaign. Return of the Mammalians. Meaning the reappearance of mammals appears to be the theme of Story Mode this time around. So of course it's the war between fish in a world where well, well, all mammals, squid kids, two cats, have and mammal aliens. Interesting twist. It appears that there's still a lot to uncover. Yeah. 
but we'll continue with our research and keep you updated once more results become available. Please look forward to more Splatoon 3. <laughs> He's been posing ever since Splatoon 2 when, when they made that official announcement. See you next time. How do you do Splatoon 2? It would be like 2 like that, I think. Very weird. So, what did you think? Splatoon 3, taking place in a new we world, got five is minutes. scheduled to release in 2022. Gonna see the best for last, aren't they? Please look forward to future updates. Okay, this is the last trailer we have to show you today. Please take a look. It's Zelda. Best for last, no question. Wait. No Breath of the Wild 2 footage. What is this? Can they to show Shin Megami Tensei or is this something else? Rockets have no visible. What am I watching? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is this being at a three? This has to be Bayonetta 3. There's no other explanation. She's back! <laughs> About time, Kamiya! Don't block me. So, how long did it take them to finally reveal information about Bayonetta 3? Like what, maybe three years perhaps? Okay, Bayonetta strutting her stuff. I do have Bayonetta 1 and 2, I'll give them... I, I've only played a bit of the first one. But this is just a whole nother level. So Bayonetta controls kaijus? About freaking time. Now what about Prime 4? What the? Hmm. What you just saw was the latest trailer for Bayonetta 3. We announced this game in 2017, and we thank you for your Four patience. years! This game will launch next Four year. Four years! We hope you look forward to Bayonetta's new encounters. That took a while. That's all for today's Nintendo Direct. 
Thank you for watching. <laughs> well, that was a fun watch. At least we got Bayonetta. F Zero is slowly getting in um, in the Switch. Uh, of course, we got another expansion for Age of Calamity. No news on Breath of the Wild two yet. We don't know anything about Prime Four. They have not said anything about it. But um, <laughs> overall, it's been uh, it's been an enjoyable stream. Um, they haven't really said anything about the Smash Brothers character, only with the exception of it being on October fifth where like the final um, Sakurai video is going to be uh, giving full detail on who this character is. Well, I don't know what else to expect, but I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed the video. <clears throat> and uh, I'll try to keep you guys updated if anything comes up. Uh, sorry if I've been keeping you guys uh, waiting for so long. Again, working as a teacher has been kind of like piling up. But uh, making the best of things and uh, occasionally just uploading uh, something new on the channel. But uh, I'll try to keep things moving along. I do have some ideas in store. I do want to continue most of the, the, the Mortal Kombat stuff as well as the Zelda stuff. And I want to see if I can develop something else along the way. But uh, anyway, yeah. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Take care. And don't forget to check out some of my content that uh, I'll probably post over here, okay? <laughs> Alright. Until next time.